good morning students welcome to your maths class so today i am teaching you about very first chapter of class 6th book that is chapter number 1 knowing our numbers and the very first topic which we will cover today is place value chart see students these place value chart is of two types one is of according to indian system of numeration and second one is according to international system of numeration you have already learned about these uh, place value charts in your previous class class 5th but here also i am explaining you these chart because your very first exercise will be related to this place value charts only so please pay attention as you all know uh, these indian system of numeration and international system of numeration are divided into periods so first of all i am beginning with periods it is divided into four periods that is ones thousands lakhs crores ones period is again further divided into three parts these parts are called as the places the first part is called as the period and the second part is called as the places so ones period is divided into three parts that is ones tens and hundreds these are the three places which comes under ones period then thousand period is further divided into two places that is thousands and 10000 lakhs period is again divided into two places that is lakhs and 10 lakhs and finally crores period is also subdivided into two places that is crores and 10 crores here you can see the short forms of all the places o t h t h for thousand t t h 10000 l for lakh t l for 10 lakh c for crores and t c for 10 crores and similarly you can see the numbers of zeros also like 10 in tens 20 in hundreds 30 in thousand 40 in 10000s and so on so this was all about indian system of numeration now i am telling you about international system of numeration here also our table is divided into firstly periods and then according to the places here the table is divided into three periods ones period thousands periods and millions period these periods are further divided into three three places here the first ones period is divided into three places that is ones tens and hundreds thousand period is again divided into three places that is thousands ten thousands and hundred thousands and millions period is again divided into three places that is millions 10 millions and 100 millions here again you can see the short forms o for ones t for tens h for hundreds th for thousand tth for 10000 and hth for 100000 m for million tm for 10 million and hm for 100 millions and i have mentioned the number of zeros in this table as well 10 for tens 20 for 100 30 for 1000 and like this you can check all the zeros in all the periods and places now the difference between the indian system of numeration and international system of numeration is this here the ones period is divided into three parts then the further periods are divided into only two two parts whereas in international system of numeration all the periods are divided into three three parts here ones period is same ones tens hundred ones tens hundred in indian and international system ones period is absolutely same then in thousand period in indian system there are only two parts thousand and 10000 whereas in international system thousand period is divided into three parts that is thousand 10000 and 100000 then lakhs and crores period comes in indian system whereas in international system millions period comes so this was all about the two tables indian system and international system of numeration so you just practice by drawing these chart in your practice notebook now come on the next topic that is how to place commas according to both the systems here i will be telling you the placement of commas according to 
both system. So the common example I have taken here 87595762 this is the number with this number only I will be telling you how to put commas according to both system. So see I have mentioned firstly the number here 87595762 basically why we put comma we put comma to separate the periods as the one period gets over we put the first comma as I told you in Indian system of numeration we always count from backside this is our first period once tens hundred these three numbers comes in ones period so here one period is over so the first comma will come before 7 then count the next 5 and 9 these two numbers comes in thousands period so our next comma will come before 9 then 5 and 7 these two numbers comes in legs period so our next comma will come before 7 like see you can see that 0 2 comes under 1's column 6 comes under 10's column h comes under 100 column and these three comes under 1's period so our first comma will come before 7 then 5 and 9 these two numbers belongs to 1000th period so second comma will come before 9 and 7 and 5 these two numbers belongs to same period that is lex period so third comma will come before 7 I hope it is clear now so the first comma will come before 3 digit and the next two commas will come before 2 2 digit from backside only now if I talk about international system of numeration then as I told you that in international system of numeration the uh, periods are divided into three three parts so these three numbers are come under these three number comes under ones period so ones tens hundred so first comma will come before seven then the next three numbers comes under thousand period so you can read it as thousand ten thousand and hundred thousand so our second comma will come then before five and these two numbers comes in millions period that is millions and 10 millions but we do not have anything for 100 millions so our comma will uh, finish here only so remember this that in Indian system the first comma comes before three digit from backside and the then before two two digit whereas in international system the first comma comes before three digit and the next comma also comes before three three digit so always the comma comes before 3 3 digit in international system of numeration now if I talk about writing the number names according to both the system how to write the number name according to both system here also I have taken one common example that is 9843270 first of all for writing the number according to both the system you have to place the numbers in the place value chart so here I have mentioned the places I have not may, uh, drawn the complete place value chart here I have only mentioned the places so you can also do with that once tens hundred thousand ten thousand lakh ten lakh crore as we are doing it according to the Indian system so remember this once tens hundred thousand ten thousand lakh ten lakh and crore so start placing the numbers from backside always whenever you are placing the numbers in the place value chart you have to start placing it from backside so one will come under ones column then zero will come under tens seven in hundreds two in thousand three ten thousand four legs eight ten legs and nine crore after placing the numbers in the place value chart put comma to separate the period so here as i've told you first period ones tens and hundred comes in comes under first period so our first comma will come before seven then thousand and ten thousand these both numbers comes in thousand period so second comma will come before three and lakh and ten lakh comes under lakhs period so our third comma will come before eight now 
how we will uh, frame the number names from this number see you have to start reading from beginning always arrange the numbers from back side and start reading it from beginning so we'll start with 9 above 9 you can see uh, you can see letter c so we will read it as 9 crores then read these two numbers together because they belongs to the same period 84 lakhs then again read these two numbers together as they belong to 1000 periods 32,000 100, pla 100 places always read as single so 700 nothing is there in tens so it will not be read lastly 1 so we can write it as 9 crore 84 lakh 32,701 so this was about Indian system of numeration now about international system of numeration same example I have taken same number I have taken only the places will be changed according to international system so here the places will be one stands hundred thousand ten thousand hundred thousand million and ten million nothing is there for hundred million so we will not make its place start uh, noting down the number from back side again so the last digit was 1 then 0 7 2 3 4 8 9 after placing the digits in place value chart we will put the comma to separate the period as I told you in international system of numera numeration we have to put comma before 3 3 digit from back side so the first comma will come before 7 here these three numbers comes in once period then these three numbers comes in thousand period so our second comma will come before four now to read this number according to international system we will read these two numbers together 98 and its period is million so 98 million hundred column will always be read as single number as i told you earlier so 400 then read these two numbers together 32,000 again 100 column will read as single 701 so 98 million 400 32,701 so that's all for the day thank you